Right folks, what we're going to do today, we've got this ocean rear sliding shelf. So what we'll get, quite an easy thing to fit, but we get quite a few questions in terms of how to do it. So just to reassure people and show people out what the process is, we're going to put this in one, one in today. Um, but just for reference, in terms of pushing, getting the tray out, just push the two thumb latches down. Don't keep your fingers on these because if you pull them all the way out, this shelf will remove. So pop them down, pull it out, and when you get to the end of the run, they will lock into place. So 60 kilogram weight limit on this, so you can get quite a bit of stuff in there. It makes getting under the rear, I've took the rear shelf out for the purpose of this video, but it makes getting under the rear parcel shelf much easier. So top tip just before we start, what I've done on the thumb screws, as you can see there, the there's some permanent marker on that thumb screw that is the way the t-piece underneath is running but i'll show you that again in a minute but that just makes actually fitting it quite a lot easier so stick with us and i'll show you how to get on so here we have the tray out of the van so you can see there we've got the t-piece thumb screws there and what i have done just as i've explained is just mark the top which way the actual t-piece is going underneath just helps when you're popping it in the van so you get four of these in, in, in the actual unit itself. So we'll pop this one in. So it's probably easier at this point just to take the tops of these off. So what you're trying to do when you level the drawer up, uh, when you have the shelf up in a second, is this particular thumb latch you want roughly level with the end of the threshold strip. This one slightly goes slightly over because it does curve along the back. So I'll just pop these ones off and we'll show you how to put them in. Okay, so as you can see there, I've got each one facing back to front of the van. There and there. So you push the actual thread down, twist, pull it back up and you'll feel it bite into the teeth that's underneath underneath the rail. On this back one there is a stopper somewhere around this area so you just have to make sure, I think that one's just catching it actually, so just adjust the shelf back and forward just to make sure you miss that. That's it, and pop each one of the thumb screws on the top. There you go, once it's past that point you can hold the top into place. Just nip that one up. Don't, don't go too tight at this point, just in case you need to adjust. There we go. Sorry for the poor light guys, it's starting to fade on us tonight. That was up. And then on this side, just try and make sure, forget the back of the van because it just come out a little bit, but try and make sure on your rail it's as level as possible. It's probably about two centimetres away from this side. Just make sure it's nice and level. I'll pop the side on. So same process, push your threads down, twist and pull them back up so the line's running left to right on the van. Again, twist, line it up, pop the thumb screw on. <laughs> I'll try. So, making sure it's level, just tighten each one up then. Make sure the front's not too far forward. and tight yep as I said before thumb latches down and then there you go what's your tray fitted